I believe if we just learn from straight books and just lectures, it yes, we do learn, but you're not putting those skills into your work. When you put those skills into your actual work, you're able to, you know, learn and make mistakes, which is okay, and you're able to be like, oh, wait, I don't do that, you do this, and you're just able to use it properly, and you learn, and when you go over and do things over and over again on actual human beings, you just learn from your mistakes, and you're able to, you know, grow. Hey, Karen, can I pop in for that real quick? Yeah, absolutely. So Giselle says something that just really deeply resonates with me, right? Um, in most places, in the, in, when we want to develop young people or any, any people, uh, when they make a mistake, we give them feedback and they correct themselves and then they do it again. Now, to be fair, Giselle, I hope that my arm is not the arm that you make too many mistakes on when you're drawing blood, <laughs> right? But the goal is to develop mastery. Right. The, the notion is that, you know, you got a 70 on a test. Uh, good luck. May, maybe do better on your next test. It's like, how do I figure out how to get to the 90 or 85 that I'm trying to do so that I learn that skill? Um, and that's how most learning happens in the real world, because we need people to do their work effectively. Uh, so I just really wanted to, to resonate with what Giselle is saying, because she talked about this notion of getting feedback trying again, and moving to a mastery level that allows her to be effective in her role and her position with regards to the work that she's doing. Having the Urban Assembly School also, you know, give the opportunity to have an internship and go into different hospitals or urgent cares, that also helps great, greater our experience levels. That way, when we do graduate with our certification, we also have that under our belts to say, yeah, I have my certification, but I also have experience. That way we can be able to get hired faster. And that way we could just be able to, you know, say, yeah, I did this before. I did this on a real life person, you know, not just because I took the certification test and I have my my license. No, it's because I also have experience and I also being able to do it. Yeah. I want to keep pushing in this because I think there's a lot of intentionality to how you set these experiences up and how you're making sure that these experiences are are really meaningful and powerful and positive for Giselle and all the other students. So it's certainly possible that a young person could be going to a regular high school and then decide they want to do, find their own way to have an independent internship to work with a hospital or something. They could do that. But somehow you've intentionally put these things together. And presumably there's something about what that partnership coordinator is doing. There's something about the possibility of connection and conversation between the staff in the school and the staff who are in the hospital or the clinic. There's something going on there that that really does mean that they're approaching working with Giselle and her peers in a different way. And that when those mistakes happen, they're helping her handle those in a different way. So I'm just assuming that there's more to this secret sauce that we could make not so secret. Well, let me uh, first just say the the board at the Urban Assembly School for Collaborative Healthcare is outstanding. Um, this is the industry partnership board. Um, and this board is the board that often helps to facilitate a lot of the relationships that we have with healthcare centers, um, prepares those healthcare centers with a sense of their mission uh, vis-a-vis what we're trying to do in the K-12 space, um, and also works very closely with Ms. Hamilton to make sure that these are rich uh, and meaningful partnerships that folks are having in internships. Karen, you know that sometimes an internship is a place where students go and like file paper or like get coffee, which is, you know, there's there's places to learn and everything. You know me, I'll take anything. Everything is a learning experience. Um, but that level of intentionality that you're talking about, it, it has to do with the relationships, um, but also having a sense that we are here to pour into our young people. Uh, we're here to make sure that folks like Giselle um, have a sense of how to solve problems in the social, emotional, and academic sense. Uh, Folks like Giselle communicate effectively because we know that's such a huge part in the context of relationships um, in medical in the medical field. And we just need to come to a common sense that we are successful when Giselle is successful. Uh, If she can come here and have a conversation with you and she can go out into the world and have a conversation with her patients, then we're doing right by her and we're doing right by our community. You want to add anything to that, Giselle? Um, I'll just add that. Well, first of all, whatever you said was, what you just said was spot on. Um, But I just want to add that, yeah, the internships and the medical assistant program helped me better communicate with, you know, myself, 
others and problem solve. You know, being able to do this is huge. And what really like makes me so happy that I'm a part of this is that my school is majority of black and brown students. And the fact that black and brown students have, have the opportunity to, you know, uplift and prove other people wrong and these minorities are able to, you know, do things that others don't have the opportunity to, it just makes us look better as, you know, minorities. So, yeah. That's a wonderful point, and I know it's very intentionally a part of the mission of Urban Assembly. And I know, David, that you and others have also talked about just this broader responsibility to have not just your Urban Assembly partners who sort of have this kind of mission, but just you're on a mission to have adults in general <laughs> realize that they have to model and practice um, and, and invite in uh, young people into this space um, as, as learning partners and as relevant partners and as people who are there and committed to make change.